this is a second part of the video for deliverance from depression. So I felt it was um, useful and I hope it will be useful to you to make a short message on things you can do to battle this thing going forward because there's your point of freedom and then there's ongoing choices you need to make um you know it, it could take a month it could take six months you, you know you may have immediate freedom but some of you guys may have to for the next month or two months or three months just press in willingly against what you know is attacking you now that you have freedom and you will overcome you will overcome if you do some of these things so i just want to offer you some some things you can do to battle the spirit of depression once you have freedom from it because there's a point at which it it's trying to get a foothold it's trying to drag you down more uh that you can still fight right and then you know once once you've reached that point where like you need intervention that's that's what the prayer video is for for deliverance is um as well as you know to to rebuke it from attacking you but you do need to make specific choices and fight because your fighting will will trounce that spirit of depression okay first the first tool and the most important tool is Jesus. As I said in the deliverance video, we really need to fill our hearts with Jesus. In every place, he needs to occupy the house. If we want true freedom, if we want to walk in true freedom. Uh, so I encourage you to give your heart to Jesus if you have not already. There will be a link at the top of the video now to the explanation of who Jesus is. There's another video on this site. You can go listen to that if you want. If you're ready to give your life to Jesus, up right now up at the top, there will be a card where you can click and go find the prayer for salvation. It is a longer prayer because I want you to know what you're signing up for. I do ask that you listen to it and consider it, prayer, um, consider it in your heart so that you're giving your life to Jesus from your heart, from a heart choice, okay? That it's something you truly want to do, knowing what you're doing. And then, yeah, so that's if you don't know Jesus. If if you're still not sure, there is a prayer for a revelation right now at the top of the screen. There will be a link to that prayer. You can go click on the prayer for revelation to ask God to confirm. Just just come and show himself and get you to that point where you know, OK, God is real and Jesus is the son of God. He is God with us. Emmanuel. That's a prayer for revelation. So Jesus is number one because we need to fill our hearts with power and what is good. Jesus is the light. He is what is good and he is power and light is power too, you know, but there's, there's power in Jesus. All authority belongs to him in heaven and earth. Now, number, uh, I'm not going to number these. The second one I wrote down, you're going to have to do, what you feel like you don't want to do sometimes. And I'm talking about things that are good for you. If you're in bed and you're feeling like I can't get out of bed, I don't want to get out of bed. I feel so horrible. I'm so sad, whatever you need to get out of bed. You need to get up and have your day. You need to just press onward. I want you to make that conscious choice right now that if that if that comes at me, if I feel like that, I'm going to remember that I need to just get up and I'm going to make the choice to do it. OK, because you need to just do what you don't feel like doing. See, the devil is going to try to keep you from doing the things that you should be doing in order to overcome 
in order to walk in freedom. But when you resist, he'll flee. He'll flee. He'll figure out it ain't going to work because you have the choice. You can make that choice. So whether it's getting out of bed, going to be with family, accepting an invitation to go to a movie with people or something, please choose a good movie, not something filled with violence and sex and stuff like that. Not, not some of these um, cartoons, I'm not going to name names of the company, but you would know it, cartoons that are very demonic now that are being shown to our kids. Um, find a Jesus movie. Watch The Chosen. The Chosen. Download the, the Chosen app. It's called The Chosen. It's the best content depicting Jesus I think I've ever seen, depicting uh, his disciples learning to follow him the best content it is incredible the cinematography and it's good for your soul too it's good for you so um, download the chosen app and watch the chosen you can cast it to your tv there's two seasons out now 16 episodes uh, watch the chosen do what you don't feel like doing and make good choices okay the the next one is intentionality in prayer, thanksgiving, um, praise, and worship. So make yourself sing to the Lord. If you follow Jesus, make yourself sing to him. If you don't follow him yet, make yourself sing good songs, healthy songs that are just uh, about loving people, you know, not sex or violence or anything like that. Make yourself sing with joy. Um, sometimes you have to force yourself to do that. I, I'm i going to give you a tip. This is what I do, because there are times I don't feel like singing. Plenty of them, right? I put on praise and worship music. In fact, here now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to add, hopefully soon, to this channel, a playlist. I think I, I can create a playlist of external content. I will pick some music, some godly Jesus worship music. I tend to like um, free form spirit led worship, but I will I will pick some videos of music. Some may have preaching. You can skip the preaching if you don't want to hear it, although it'll be good. Um, but the, it'll, they'll have godly things that you can put in he, right here on. Um, you're probably watching this on YouTube, but they'll, they'll be on YouTube on, on a playlist. OK, so you can access that. You can just start the playlist playing. And then begin singing along with it. I'll try to choose the content, the music that actually has words in case you don't know the words. Uh, a lot of times they'll caption with the words. Okay, so make yourself give praise and sing and give thanks to God. Give thanks. It, I've heard of little things making a difference. Thank him for the dishes in your cabinet. Thank him for if you don't have a lot of food for, for the little bit of food you do have. Thank him for the water you have. You know, hopefully you have water. Um, thank him for the clothes you have and, and shelter, you know, if, if you have shelter, and I pray you do. So praise, thanksgiving, prayer, and worship. Talk to the Lord. Pray to him. Uh, worship him. Adore him. And sometimes you, you have to do things like put on that music as an external stimulus that you start listening to and then your heart follows. So I choose to do that and then I find myself singing to the Lord and it's wonderful. So these are strategies that you can incorporate to walk in your freedom and trounce on the devil. He wants to take you down. Okay. Next, uh, scripture reading and declaration. So reading the Bible, you know, if you follow Jesus, do your best to daily read the Bible and ask God to bring it alive for you because it really does require the, the Holy Spirit in us, the, the Spirit of God, to actually bring us understanding and to make it come alive because it is alive. And it I've been reading it for a long time now, and I can tell you I'm always still finding new things that I've places I've read before new things i'm saying new things i'm learning it is very much alive and declare 
scripture over you, declare the good things of scripture, like some of the things we walked through in the deliverance video. Declare those. Declare that, that your portion in Jesus Christ is joy, is salvation, that, that healing and joy and freedom is a part of the deliverance, of the saving act of Christ on the cross. Declare that over yourself. Uh, next one is very simple. Drink water. Drink, drink lots of water. Hope I, if you don't have water, I, I pray that the Father and our Father in heaven will send His holy angels right now to make the way for you to have access to clean, healthy water. Don't go drinking beer. Don't go drinking alcohol. Don't go drinking drinks filled with sugar cracking yourself up on sugar. I'm sorry, I don't think a lot of sugar is good for you. It's my personal opinion, um, but stay away from excess sugar. But just drink water, get enough fluid because that does make a difference for how you feel. Get enough fluids in you, uh, preferably just good old water. Drink some tea, but drink some water. I like coffee too, but drink some water. Okay, so, um, and as part of that, from time to time, I like lattes. I, I really love a good latte, a good latte, and I'm very picky about them. Uh, but from time to time, you know, I allow myself um, to spend the money to just get a latte. You know, I don't do it all the time, it's too much money. Um, but I allow myself to do that from time to time. So from time to time, just say, I'm going to treat myself today to a latte because God loves me and I'm going to celebrate that and I'm going to live in his love. I'm not encouraging you to make, make that an addiction or a habit, but to do something to honor yourself as God sees you. Okay. Family and community. Super important. Don't be alone. What the devil is trying to do with depression is to isolate you. He wants to cut you off from your support system. He wants to cut you off from your family. He wants to isolate you. If you've ever seen um, videos about like, or maybe you live in Africa. I, I've not been to Africa yet. I would love to go to Africa and I would love to go on safaris. Um, but if you've ever seen video about like, you know, in Africa where they have, you know, the planes and lions and stuff, and they make the, the documentaries on lions and their packs. And well, you know, God is, is compared. He, he calls himself the lion of Judah. He, he's compared to a lion because he will roar. Now that's not the only comparison metaphor he, he makes of himself, but he is like, he is the lion of Judah. Judah means praise, by the way. Um, he roars with praise. Um, so if I'm, I'm telling you that little, little, uh, tangent there, but because what happens if you watch some of these documentaries is the, the little baby lion, if the little kid, if it doesn't stay, if it's not, not, not a big one, if it doesn't stay with the big ones and it wanders off and they, the family doesn't know it's gone the hyenas hyenas and other predators come and and surround it and try to take it down see that's what the devil wants to do to us and wants to do to you he wants to get you isolated so that he can surround you and take you down don't let it happen know that that is a part of his strategy and don't let it happen you need family you need community god made us to be with other people. I know it's hard sometimes. Sometimes it's, it's, it's not, not an easy fit. Hopefully you have some people in your life that you get along with, um, spend time around them. If you can, you know, accept invitations to social events and stuff like that. Go out with your friends, um, enjoy, you know, have some fun, you know, don't just say, oh, I'm not feeling like it every day and stay home. You know, that, don't play into the devil strategy to isolate. You know, when, when you're healthy, 
you can take time to yourself, right? But you don't want to isolate yourself. You don't want to make yourself alone. Okay. Next, watch carefully what you see and hear. I so believe this. I have stopped watching most news. Most news is filled with, with disappointing junk, in my opinion. Now, there is some godly news out there. There are sources like the Victory Channel and, um, you know, networks like TBN and others where you, where you can actually get um, scripture, God-based, you know, um, I, I don't want to say God-based news, but news in the context of following God, where it's not, it's not all bad news. It, it, it's, it's framed up as there is hope. Okay, versus a lot of the media out there is just painting stories to make you fear. And you might not even be getting all the information. You're probably not. So watch very carefully. This applies to movies and TV as well. It also applies to radio and music. There's a lot of secular songs. Most secular TV shows and movies have content in them that are not good for your soul. They're just not good for your soul. I'm not telling you, you can't watch any of it. I don't personally, but I am telling you to guard your soul. Jesus told us in the scriptures that, that the eyes, if darkness, if we're taking in darkness, how great is the darkness in us, right? The eyes are the light of the body, right? So we want to fill our eyes and our ears with good things and good news. I'm not telling you to be oblivious to things going on, but spend more time encouraging yourself about the good that God is doing in this world than the bad, okay? Watch what you see and hear. Work out, exercise, get up, um, go for a jog, go for a walk. If, if you have a gym membership, go to the gym and work out, make yourself do it, make yourself do it. If you don't, if you can't afford it, uh, look up YouTube videos. I'm sure you can do plenty of, find plenty of YouTube videos showing you how to do like calisthenics in the home or something like that, body weight exercises, uh, workouts at home with very little or, or no gear right? Just body weight stuff. Work out, get your body moving. Okay. It makes a big difference. Take care of your body. Oh, along with that, I didn't write it down, but it's important. Do your best to eat right, to eat well, learn what your body likes and what your body doesn't like and, and eat well, eat greens. If you can eat, eat vegetables, eat, you know, eat good meats, eat, eat. If you're a meat eater, you know, if you're vegetarian, that's fine. That's for you. Um, no problem with that. Eat, eat healthy grains and, and vegetables and legumes and, and stuff like that. Try to eat well, try to, try to look at the ingredient list and not put a bunch of preservatives and artificial sweeteners in your body. Okay. Most foods on the, on the store shelves these days, uh, have preservatives in them. You can, you can go look and, and you might have to learn what they are, but a lot of times they'll say to preserve, to preservative or to preserve freshness or for freshness stuff, stuff like that. Look in the ingredient list, because if you're taking a lot of the stuff in, into your body, it's my belief that it does have an effect on how you feel. So do your best to eat well. I understand it can cost a lot to do that sometimes. Um, I am certainly sensitive to that as well, but do your best and know that, that God didn't make you to eat poorly, um, just out of a sense of guilt. You know, um, if, if that's all the food you have access to, then that's all the food you have access to. But if you have a choice, make the choices where you can eat well for, for you. Okay. Finally, we already kind of covered this, sing joyful songs. Focus your mind on what is good and just let yourself sing joyful songs. Let yourself just 
feel joy again by being glad for what is good. It, it may sound like a lot. It may, it may sound hard. Don't worry, you can do it. It, it just takes practice. It takes some effort and will. It's really an effort of the will. It's an effort of the heart to say, no, I'm not going to stay in bed. I'm not going to stay on the couch all day. I'm not going to stay in my pajamas. I'm going to get out of my pajamas. I'm going to take a, I'm going to bathe, take a shower or bath and, and freshen up and feel good. And I'm going to go out. I'm going to call somebody and talk to them. I'm, I'm going to do something. Okay. I hope this helps you. If it does help you and you feel like you need more, leave comments, let me know. But may this bless you. Thank you for watching. Um, I pray the blessing of the Lord over you, that he will lead you into, um, into victory. Father, I ask you to, to lead the listener right now in this season into learning to do battle against that which would seek to steal, kill, and destroy, and to overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.